let's set the mood, shall we? Brand new candle. There we go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a favorites video and I'm excited to do this because it's been a while since I've done one of these style videos and I have a lot of good things to share with you so let's jump right into what I've been loving for the month of February. As I was decorating my shelf today, I put in this planner of mine and this is definitely one of my favorites and I thought it just went with like my springy colors. You guys, it's March. I can officially say that I'm getting married next month. What? That's crazy. It still hasn't really hit me yet, but as soon as it hit March 1st, I was like, whoa, it's time to get things into gear, hence the planner. I've actually been using this since January, so this is one of my like New Year favorites. My mom bought this for me to help me out with wedding planning, and oh my goodness, has it ever. It just is so cute. It has stickers, you guys. I haven't used that many of them so far, but I feel like I'm saving them up so I can use them closer to the wedding for nail appointment, hair appointment. I should actually use this one today because I'm going to get my hair cut or trimmed. Let's not go too far. I'm going for a trim. I just really like the way that the layout is. It just is so cute and it makes you want to use it. I feel like the cuter the book, the more likely you're going to use it. Look at March. Stop worrying. This should be my motto right now, but it's the complete opposite because I feel like my stress levels are through the roof. And then the countdown now to April is on. And inside the days are broken up with enough space to write in here. And that definitely matters to me because if there's not, I know I'm just not even going to bother using it. The name of the planner company is Bandeau. I believe that's how you say it. And I know that we're into March now, but it's never too late to grab a planner. The next two items are dry shampoos. One is from the drugstore. One I bought from Sephora. This is the Herbal Essences Naked Dry Shampoo. It's more on the light side, and this is something that I'll use the day that I wash my hair. So I like to use dry shampoos even on fresh hair because I feel like it extends the fresh factor. This I will wash my hair, blow dry, and then spray a little bit of this into the root, massage it in, and I feel fresh, and it gives me a little bit of body. For second day hair, I've been using the Whey Dry Shampoo Foam. This is a really neat product because it helps you soak up all the oils. That sounds so icky. And I, me, the girl that likes to wash her hair every single day, has transformed a little bit, and I now will try to go two days. So on second day, I'll use this. Third day, I gotta wash or else I feel like a grease ball. You shake it up. It sprays out really easily. <laughs> this is something that I appreciate. And it's like this really dense foam. You flip your hair and you just kind of work it in. And it's really good if you have that really flat, limp hair because it's going to give you a lot of body. It goes on really wet, but I promise you it turns into like a powder form once you massage it fully in. Look at that volume. At first it took me a little bit of getting used to the scent because it smells very floral and on your hand it smells beautiful. It kind of smells like roses but then once you mix it onto your scalp and your oils that sounds so gross. It, I wasn't really sure how I felt about it when I'd get a whiff of it but now I think it's okay. I think it smells fresh. I hope it smells fresh. The next product is this L'Oreal Concealer Beauty Sponge. This thing is amazing. When I first got it, I was like, am I really gonna use it? Because I have the beauty sponge. This is the SL Must Glam Beauty Sponge. It's very similar to a beauty blender. But to be completely honest, since I got this, I haven't used a beauty blender since. I love the fact that it has this really flat edge here. It just makes blending and applying foundation super easy. My goodness, Steph, I am so sorry. I ripped this this morning. I don't even want to show it. It just fits right where I need it to. You can use it to clean up underneath the edge of your liner too, give you that really sharp, defined look. Brows. I've been using the Brow Stylist Frame and Set. That's a really fancy term for pomade, and I'm using the shade Deep Brunette. I wasn't really a pomade girl. I was more of like a pencil because I just wanted to be able to put the product on really quick and easy in the mornings. But since I've been using this, it actually doesn't take much longer. And I feel like you get more of a clean, more defined look. And you can actually mimic the natural shapes of your hair. You can go as light as you want or as defined as you want. And it actually comes with a brush, 
one that I didn't throw away because a lot of the times I receive the brushes that come with products and they're no good so I just toss them and I do think it's a dupe for the Anastasia brow pomade this is the Maybelline master precise curvy liquid liner this is still new to me I've only worn it a few times but I know right off the bat this is a good liner I'm wearing it today I think this would be the perfect liner for somebody who's maybe not the best at liquid liner, doing that weighing, getting the right thickness because we all know what it's like to use one of those tips that frays and then you have that liner that just got bigger and bigger and bigger and then you just want to cry and not leave the house. I know that feeling but this I feel like gives you more control because of the applicator. It just allows you to kind of put it on wing it out and you're done. Ah, the glow tonic. I recently went to two Pixie Beauty events. The first one was in Vancouver because we just launched Pixie Beauty in Canada. It's now at Shoppers Drug Marts. When I was there, they were really raving about Glow Tonic and I was like, I've never tried it. Everybody looked at me funny and they were like, how have you never tried Glow Tonic? Now I'm one of those girls because it's amazing. I don't know exactly what it is that I love about it. It's a toner. I should kind of get into what it is. It's a 5% glycolic acid exfoliating toner. When you first hear that, you think it sounds kind of abrasive. Maybe it's going to be harsh on the skin. There's fuzz. Not at all. Sometimes we think that even with a cleanser, we're getting the makeup off until you take a cotton pad and you rub your face and you look at it and you're like, wow, if I was lazy, I would not have removed all that dirt and grease and makeup. So now that I've been using a toner again, there are no nights off. I can't be lazy. I gotta make sure my skin is clean. And it's also a product that doesn't dry the crap out of your skin. This is the complete opposite. You feel nice and hydrated. You have a little subtle glow. It looks like I haven't even used this one because I just cracked this open. I have so many of them now because I went to another Pixie Beauty event last week in Seattle. It was for the celebration dinner for the It's Judy Time palettes and Pixie Beauty. Petra, the creator of the line, was there herself. It was such a beautiful night. It was Judy's friends and family. She hooked me up with some palettes. We'll get to these in a second, but I have like little minis of these guys, so I've used these up. I'm on to the bigger one. And I think that we gotta get into them now that I've mentioned them. The Pixie Beauty and It's Judy Time palettes. I finally got them. This is the It's I Time Shadow palette. A lot of good shades in here. She said she wanted to create an essential palette with all of the shades she loves to use, and these are like mine. I love the neutrals. I love that it has some sassy shades in here too for more of like that date night look, or maybe when you're on a vacation, you wanna jazz it up. And I think the best part about these palettes are the names. There's one called It's Mommy's Life, Honey Bear, Aw uh, Snap, and gotta do it. <laughs> but ever since I got these, which was only like a week and a half ago, so they're still new, but I've been wearing them every day since. I have Getaway on the lid, and then I have Tutu and Dark Chocolate mixed in the crease. And then for the lip, I'm also wearing her colors in here. I have like my own little concoction going. But this is the It's Lip Time palette. Love the neutrals. There's so many good nudes in here. I love the names on this too. Juliana Bear, Mia Bear. Kira Bear. That's so sweet. One day, her girls are going to look back and be like, Mom, you named lipstick colors after me? That's so nice. But these are available at Target if you guys want to go pick up your own. I know that they are sold out like crazy, so keep looking. Get it, Judy? I think you guys know what product I'm about to talk about. Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. If you guys haven't seen my review on this or my first impression, you need to watch my last video. I'm gonna pop it right here, and I will also link it in the description box. It is a $6 drugstore foundation that wears like a high-end foundation. And this foundation claims to have no flashback when you take a flash photo, however, when I took photos out that night, I was trying it out. I definitely saw a white cast on my face, so I definitely think I need to pair it with the right products, probably the ones from the line. I would already have them if we carried this line in Canada. Apparently we don't. I didn't know that when I filmed my video. So I gotta go back to the States, get my right colors, and I definitely will be trying the concealers and powders because I've heard they're really good. Here's what you gotta know about it. I think this is amazing if you have more of that 
oily combination skin. It gives you a really medium to full coverage look and it wears so nicely throughout the day. It doesn't wear off. The coverage lasts. It just makes your skin look really smooth. So those were my favorites from the month of February. A little bit of January mixed in too. Let me know if you guys liked watching because I'll continue to make them as long as you like watching them. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. Come say hi on Instagram or Snapchat or both. My usernames for both of them are Trina Dura. I'll leave my snap code right here and my vlog channel. Click this box, it will take you over to Life with Trina. Subscribe, I have more videos coming your way very soon and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.